Okay, let's move on towards uh, game two first half. You're gonna have STR Eggwise coming out as Nightwatch here in hospital. It's gonna be Seer spawning in middle, ICQ patient here by the right hand side near Shaq. You're gonna be seeing Aquabat here in his home, the strongest home of it all, runes, and then Mercenary down below as well near Birdcage. Okay, with that in mind, uh, STR, if they can win this one, they can basically take a home. From one limit here, it's gonna be. Basically, everything's in the bag now. For LM survivors, I'm quite sure they decide to choose that seer immediately as well. And because that seer was immediately chosen, they most likely want to aim for a three man escape, especially in this day and age as well. You're gonna need that a lot, a lot with that in mind. Uh, but let's see here. We're gonna be able to see Seer, Acrobat, Mercenary, and Patient. Permabands here will be Female Dancer and Coordinator. Meanwhile, the main bands will be uh, Antiquarian Priestess, first two bands, and then followed with an Aeroplanist and first officer. Okay, let's move on towards the game. We go then. Let's see. We're gonna be able to see. We're gonna be able to see Nightwatch going straight towards middle, but it seems like Mercenary is gonna rotate towards the other side. Looking for Mercenary here first may not be a bad idea as well, but Mercy is not going to be able to force to use that elbow pad especially with a new window near that area as well so going to be able to get the first move and speed boost here that's going to be a pullback but that pullback isn't going to do much up against the mercenary behind bars okay mercy in straight towards birdcage right here but you're not a little birding in cage here for the mercenary as he does have elbow pads to fly around this map Okay then, Mercenary, we are going to be able to get the first loop here. We uh, did get stuck there by STR. So STR's Hunter here, a little bit panicky I guess on that side as well. We need to keep our hearts down and to sing like a bird. But even with that in mind, it seems like we've all decided to give an up on two-story here. Hospital to give an all towards the mark. Mercenary still having elbow pads remaining on his hands. He did elbow pad that one immediately and it was a beautiful elbow pad with that in mind. But I guess for the survivor side right now, a very good 60 second containment here from the survivors. Mercy with no items remaining and you're deciding to chase after patient here. But you know what? Patient can also fly. And we've also another birdie that can definitely come into body blocker first hit though. So patient does not need to use his items here. We're going to have the owl calling. That's our first bird coming out. We're going to be waiting here for quite a bit of time here. Going to be able to get a drop down here thankfully and patient. With that window speed boost is going to be able to pull one loop here bare minimum. You should be able to do one loop here bare minimum. But it's seems like for patient we're gonna be pulling out here immediately straight towards bird cage right again but this bird is not gonna be caged because mercenary is nearby okay never mind this bird is gonna be caged sorry i was wrong but we are not gonna maximize the windows speed boost here sadly we are gonna be able to get a hit here and there is a pallet near bird cage okay there is another hook here to be used that's gonna be a blink used just to catch up but little did he know hey guess what i have another hook and i'm gonna be able to vault out here you don't have any energies left on yourself to use and there's a long 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 pallet here to be playing around in as well so for patient that's gonna be another hook straight towards uh shock and shock doesn't have anything Shaq doesn't have a basement. Shaq has a window and a pallet. Shaq has a seer to body block for you, but I don't think seer is going to be able to body block, so seer actually might just get a hit here. Seer! Did get a hit here immediately. That's two survivors currently at half health here, going back straight towards two story right now. We're going to be able to get the vaulting here immediately, taking the window speed boost, pulling as far away as possible. But that's a 97% cipher machine. That's a cipher machine in which we can say you can abnormal that, but you don't have abnormal though, so uh, jokes on you. Now then, with patient in mind, we do realize that patient is actually being very greedy with a cipher machine right now. We are going to be able to get the vaulting here, thankfully, but patient shouldn't be coming out this early. Well, yeah, I don't think Patient should be coming out that early as well. STR, you guys, not going to be able to get the hit right there. But Patient being nearby, Patient getting immediate hit down here. That's four and a half Cypher machines. That's literally four and a half Cypher machines. Well, no, that's four Cypher machines right now being done. Four Cypher machines are currently being done. Mercenary has a wand. Uh, Mercy won't use that wand, by the way. There's no way Mercenary used that wand. That wand is probably... Yeah, that one is probably... No, but that one will be used to use in between pallets. I'm quite sure. Or to body block at least once. But let's see here. Mercenary. Okay, gets a normal hit there, thankfully. And I think Mercy can just finish on 97% side for machine. I won't lie. We're going to be able to get Patient. Media hit on towards Patient right here. The 48% Cypher Machine has not been decoded just yet. It seems like for Nightwatch here, he does realize that Survivors want to open that Cypher Machine. Uh, but we are not gonna... We are gonna be able to see where Mercenary is. Okay, Mercenary pulled back here immediately. That's gonna be a wand and a Terror Shock down there. But even with that Terror Shock in mind, let's see a new Cypher Machine currently being opened. We do have an Aquaban here at full health. 
Bosch, um, maybe we need to give up on that 97% cipher machine right now, which is a bit of an issue here as well. Now then, we do see Yona T here this year. A little bit further out from the area. But Mercenary should be able to finish off that 97% cipher machine after use up the self-heal. Therefore, the survivors right now, I guess their main goal... Oh, not Mercy, sorry, Patient. For survivors right now, their main goal is to rush. They can definitely get one cipher machine done here at least. And Acrobat is going to be able to get the vault over, thankfully. But also at the same time, um, we did get a normal hit register there immediately. We're going to look for a double rescue situation here. We most likely are going to be looking for a double rescue situation situation here okay patient is currently on the run but it seems like we still missed a hit on towards acro that's gonna be an after half rescue but that's still okay patient needs to body block there but we did manage to get a terror shock hit there immediately so tie game here seems like it will be guaranteed a little bit unfortunate that we got a hit right over the vault over but uh for now watch your side here at least he did, he did manage to tie thankfully thankfully he did manage to see the opening there from the survivor side but anyways on that side no cypher machine is still primed so i guess for the survivors there's no teleport remaining cypher machine can be popped here immediately and we also do see that patient's already on the exit gate here though a little bit unfortunate here doesn't really have anything else to use but even with that on mind no 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 what again oh yeah no 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 dungeon nearby and acrobat is in the middle okay with acro on mind acro probably could rush straight towards uh shakesh so with this shock gate on mind, let's see here. If Seer can get an owl, is there a possibility? I think not. It's a max presence, uh, Nightwatch watch at the end of the day. So I think you are really pushing it a little bit too much. Oh, we did manage to get a vault over there though, but no terror shock down. But there is going to be the breakdown there on towards the pallet side. But even with that pallet, there's another pallet here to use. But it's not easier to play around this pallet, let's say. We did manage to get a hit down there immediately. And let's congratulate the tie here from ST Wars Hunter. Moving on towards second half. Okay, let's move on towards the game then. For this one, we're gonna have female Sansa spawning runes. Uh, Acrobat's gonna be near the double pallet, uh, near Shaq. We're gonna be seeing Psycho in middle, and then Mercy is actually gonna spawn in Birdcage this time. We're gonna have LM Tsupachi coming out as second hunter here, playing as Geisha. So I guess overall for this Geisha, we... It's a bit... I would say it's a bit hard here for Geisha to get more than a tie. Especially with the fact that Merc can double rescue here after a Psychologist's Stress Whistle. Female Dancer with a slow music box and an Acrobat with three balls. It's gonna be a bit hard for, for here for Geisha to be able to do much anyways. But anyways, moving on towards the uh, ban picks we go. We're gonna be able to see that Geisha has decided to ban Seer and Professor. First two bans here. We are still pretty afraid of those scales. But I guess playing as Geisha, that Professor is a little bit of a problem there as well. So with the Priestess and Entobologist next to bans, I guess it's not bad. Entoban against Geisha isn't a bad choice. But of course, Perma Bans here is going to be Perfumer and Annie Curran. Now that moving on towards the game we go, we're going to be able to see Tsupachi here. Geisha going straight towards the Female Dancer. Female Dancer allowing, uh, uh, no, sorry, already deploying a slow music box down here. So... Uh, with the amount of slow music box that is going to be allowed to be deployed for FD here, you could potentially say per each music box this is destroyed, you basically buy like 5 seconds of free containment time. We're going to be able to double our ballet away here immediately towards the next pallet area, but Butterfly Dash is going to be ready in the next 1 second. Okay, there is a slow music box right now, so pallet breaking is a little bit slower in this sense, but it does seem like Geisha has still decided to bring... Um, Still the Cyberian one again, we're going to be able to get that hit on towards uh, Female Dancer there, but still the Cyberian Destructum is okay. We do not have a Nurble to fly until the next 5 seconds, but even with that on mind, Blink is also ready to go as well though. So with this uh, information on mind, we are going to be able to break, break that pallet, Female Dancer with Flywheel here. So we're going to have to be very careful about how this Flywheel is going to be able to play it out. Female Dancer vaulting over that window, realizing there's no window vault boost, but there is a flywheel to use to counter the blink but it seems like for female dancer right here we are going to be able to get that flywheel out but sally geisha charge that kid this time uh geisha's persona trait it's going to be trunk guard detention here with uh announcement alongside with Panic, sorry. Panic and destructiveness. Mm, even with that on mind, it's currently two and a half cipher machine by the time we do manage to share the female dancer here. Mercenary Tadako here is also on the way. We just have to see how mercenaries rescue go here, right? 
Cause if Mercy isn't a if Mercy gets a double hit situation, it's gonna be really bad. But it seems like for Mercy here, it's gonna be a normal hit anyways. We are still buying quite a bit of time here for the survivors to stay on chair just for a little bit longer. And both will go their own separate ways, which is pretty nice as well. Okay, on that side, no female dancer. No, oh, there is a slow music box nearby actually, so female dancer could play around this area for a little bit of time. We could ballet over first, but I guess for Geisha side, it's really just the so music box that kind of affects the Geisha here quite a bit, but we are going to be able to get the blink down here immediately. Now it's around two and a half side for machines done, and we are still near the slow music box area, so I guess we're going to be able to chair down here immediately and then break the slow music box. Now then, with this on mind, Psycho's whistle is going to be able to come through already as well, and then there's going to be the mercenary be nearby. I say for the survivors only, they don't necessarily have to rescue, but if mercenary decides that he wants to show himself full on, they're probably going to come in for the rescue anyways. Okay, mercenary coming in towards statue right now. It does seem like we are going to be able to go straight towards the rescue right now. That's going to be a no tie turner rescue here, but at least Female Dance has two pilots to play around, which is pretty good news. Okay, that's a butterfly gone through, which is nice. We did manage to get a dash over there though, and there goes another female dancer. Okay, three and a half cypher machine done. We're basically almost done with the fourth cypher machine. Blink is gone a little bit later than expected so there's going to be no teleport here for the next 50 seconds psycho is also already out of her way away from the birdcage gate cypher machine so we're going to be able to rotate straight towards birdcage right here going to be able to get a dash in thankfully but once again it really is just that palette in between that is it's really just that pilot that's in between the Geisha hitting the Psychologist right now. Now we are still playing quite a bit of mind games here and there, but even with that on mind, we did manage to get a dash over there though, very nice dash over. I would have not expected that, but even with that on mind, the Cypher Machine is really fast, isn't it? Psychologist, one more hit down here, but it's still a flywheel potential here on the Psycho. We are going to be able to get the dash out, but um, not going to be able to hit, get out over the pilot. It's a bit hard to get out over a pilot, but as long as Psycho can contain for 15 more seconds, it's, it's enough. And doesn't seem oh nice flywheel beautiful beautiful flywheel so yeah uh, it's gonna be teleport over straight towards acro acro is someone with balls two white balls definitely two red balls and one more ball right now so acro's end game containment is very strong we are able to dodge that snowball thankfully but even with that snowball on mind these two pilots will have to be broken asap as well from my point of view, it seems like there's only one survivor decoding right now. Psycho is probably going over to decode her. No, that's the Mercy. Okay, so Mercy's over to decode the 81% Cypher Machine. We're probably going to prime Psychologist Cypher Machine if this is the case. Okay, then. Now, let's see. Psychologist Cypher currently has 74%. Uh, Mercenary's trying to decode that 81% Cypher Machine, but it will you will be prevented by the Geisha here. So you're going to have to be very careful in what you do. That 80% Cypher Machine is going closely towards 89 right now. Mercenary is going to be able to get spotted out right here, but we cannot dash here as well because the dash needs to be used to go towards the chair and not towards the Mercy right now. So we're going to be able to dash back here immediately, get to hit on towards the Mercenary. Mercenary, 8 second mini borrow time here, so Mercy will be able to go down here immediately, but it just depends on how well Acrobat rebound kites here. If Acrobat manages to rebound kite, that's going to be what's the most important thing right here, but we're going to be able to get a jump over with the Mud Ball, and it seems like we're going to go back immediately here with a Mercenary pickup. Okay. Mercy here is going to be the opening for that three man elimination. Uh, Cause Mercenary in this sense as well has no items remaining. So that means that you can hit Mercenary and start looking, look for the next target available. We do also know where Acrobash is, but it seems like for Geisha side right now, you are gonna be able to find where Acro is, thank go goodness me. But even with Acrobat side right now, I feel like we can end this with a three man elimination here. It's a huge possibility, but also with Acro side, he can't really make it to chair unless uh because there's still a teleport nearby as well so we need to keep quite a lot of things in mind right now didn't get it on towards geisha right there a little bit unfortunate flywheel is also able to nullify that normal hit seems like we're going to be able to get the rescue here thankfully and we're going to be able to get the hit straight towards the chair okay acro mercy both alive right now on the field a little bit a very nicely done by the survivors anyway but there goes down the mercenary immediately right here we do have teleport uh to go as well but it seems like we're going to get the pickup and a drop down first and foremost cypher machine still going to be open very fast right here from the psychologist we also do see the acrobats currently at the 
uh, near the double pallet area but with a dash through here immediately psycho cypher machine will be stopped and we are looking at where acrobat is coming from i don't think we saw acrobat we didn't really see acrobat right there we're gonna be able to get a rescue there thankfully but it does seem like asia is gonna be able to not get the hit on towards that one okay this is still possible for it to be a tie because we do get tinnitus here. We do realize where Acrobat is. But it seems like we lost tinnitus. We do see where Acrobat is. Acrobat, Birdcage. Do we see? We do see Birdcage, Acro. No pilot near Birdcage. Going to be able to get the dash in here immediately. Acrobat doesn't have Dungeon nearby. But he does have quite a few balls here to use. So the teleport will be able to come out here immediately. Acrobat forced to retreat from the Scythe. Uh, not from the, from the Exogate. And in that case... It seems like Acro won't be able to do much here anymore. There is a dungeon nearby, but, 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 but you don't really have that much ball. You, well, I don't. Well, he probably does have one more red ball remaining, but it's a max person game shot. So let's congratulate the tie here for STR Survivor. Moving on towards game three here. We go.